sorry. Hairball. Good morning, Lycanthropes. This morning's broadcast brought to you by Wolfenden. Being a werewolf doesn't have to be a curse. Wolfenden MDA was specifically developed by government scientists to provide relief of symptoms during outbreaks and to control full moon instincts. Remember, after everything is said and done, we're all in this together. Wolfenden MDA has been approved by the U.S. government despite mixed results in clinical trials. Some patients complain of memory loss, dry mouth, dizziness, nausea, vomiting, excess urination, diarrhea, difficulty in breathing followed immediately by respiratory failure, heavy perspiring liver and kidney failure, heart palpitations, heart arrhythmia, heart attack, heart failure, broken heart, exploding heart, mini strokes, major strokes, suicidal tendencies, and death. Wolfenden is available in easily swallowed gel caps and handy tongue strips. Wolfenden, it's not just good for you, it's the law. And now, the morning news. Late last night, the president signed an executive order authorizing continued discovery, arrest, and the indefinite incarceration of lycanthropes. In other faux news, forcing werewolves to donate their saliva for pharmaceutical use is not unconstitutional, according to a recent Supreme Court ruling. They also concluded that medicating werewolves in captivity is not considered cruel and unusual punishment. Well, thanks for that, Jack. What a relief. It sure is, Dan. What? Guard? Hey! There are some who will say that we're cannibals. But the reality is that the worst thing you're gonna do is, I don't know, jump around on the furniture or something. You're a pussy. Look, I know you're angry. Why don't we have to be medicated? Yeah. Fucking own up. Look, tomorrow they're gonna ship you off to a correctional facility. Is there a problem in here? No, Barney, it's cool. I've got this. This should stay open. You wait. Thank you. Yeah. I'm a real slick dog. Big back hair, now nah, suit it up, so the king. Oh, I stuck these foggy woods against my will. When gypsies hear me howl, they shoot to kill. Well, I hope that you don't find me up. And I hope that you're not scared off by the truth. Don't mind that pentagram on my hand. Cause I think that I can make you understand. I'm the wolf man.
Ah. Barney, wake the fuck up. No. What the fuck, dude? Right. Oh, I don't know why they let you old fuckers run around free. Uh, duh, because we're impotent. Ah. Uh, you gonna be good? I just fucking go on. Go ahead. Hey, hey, dude, you want some motherfucking cake later or what? Cake? Yeah, for your cake hole. Oh, that way. Oh, oh uh, I gotta, I, you, you, all right. Asshole. Hey, dude. Man, you hear that? Shit coming out of the president's mouth last night. Pretty soon they're gonna be locking up retired motherfuckers like you and me. Fuck them, government. doesn't hurt much with the drugs, and they'll only tap you during your cycle. What the fuck, man? Just run. Security is a joke anyway. And then they catch you and bring you back, and then it gets worse. <laughs> worse than being locked away for who you are? Hey. They'll roll around in too much cow shit. Grrr! doing that fashion show thing you do whenever you get nervous. You do make the best popcorn. Maybe it just needs a fresh coat of paint or something. Paint it all black. You always know what you're getting with black. Like I need to be any more depressed than I already am. I like black. Everything can't be black. I don't want everything black, just rooms. Maybe be better in cerulean blue. <laughs> Dude, the color of the walls is, that's the least of your fucking problems. You know, just because you're a trustee doesn't mean a damn thing. They're never going to let you leave, Brian. They're going to keep clamping down and clamping down. What the fuck will we do in Maine? What every other werewolf does there. Live free or die. That's New Hampshire. Whatever. You get the drift. Dude. We could be lumberjacks. We're not gonna be lumberjacks. You get that ridiculous idea out of your head. Could happen. All right, Mr. Bunyan. I will always protect you. That's the drugs talking. Hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my motor running. 
Oh, fucking A, Doug. I hate that, and you know I hate that, and you always try to work it in. Sorry. It's, it's instinct, you know? We're supposed to lick things. That's beside the point. I don't know where else you've been licking. Dude. We could get back to basic werewolven. I think you're a little old for that kind of thing. Come on. You're never too old for werewolven. You know, chasing deer around, drop and roll wherever you want to, pissing shit in the woods during the full moon. Yes, sirree. One time, I was one badass motherfucker. Brian, we could be together every night, not just on the weekends. Give me the shit. I'm not sure about this. I mean, the more I think about it. <laughs> Trust me, when Barney gets some of this cake, he's gonna be walking our bags to the fucking car. <laughs> Well, I shit myself. It was getting runny and my ass cheeks hurt. Where are you going? We're making our big escape in a minivan. But, excuse me, old but solid as a rock. Don't fucking high roll me. Tell me something though. Did you have to dose the cake with wolf lax too? This is shaky. We've got cops. We've got SWAT teams. We've got bounty hunters. Dude, it's fucking Homeland Defense. Trust me, we have the element of surprise. Yeah, but they're still going to be looking for us. So we take some back roads. It'll be like a big adventure. You 
know my parents' place is on the way. Your parents can come visit you in Maine. We can just drop by, you know, in and out. Don't fucking eye roll me. Doug, can I please use the GPS? Brian, I was in the fucking military, okay? I know how to read a goddamn map. Oh, I saw that. murder you do not call me a faux pas I didn't call you a faux pas I just heard you plain as day no I didn't because it's not what I said don't call me a faux pas fuck paw I said fuck paw are you gonna fucking deaf old man Sorry. Well, that's different. That's okay. Fuck paw is okay. Let's go to the little boy's room. Hey, in and out. Low profile, dude. Thank you. It's very kind. That is a colossal hat you've got on. Thank you. It's a very nice jacket you have. Go ahead, feel that. Wow, feels very nice. Slick. Yeah, I like the way you have your hair. Your buns really look good. Do you mind if I touch one of them? Yeah. Wow, it feels really nice. Yeah. Hey, what's your name? Brian. Brian, I'm Bill. Pleasure yeah. meeting you. Yeah, awesome. Hey, have a good day. You too. Captain, let's get this show on the road. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> you did something to your hair, didn't you? Yeah. What do you think? I, I know, it's a little different. <laughs> yeah, it's different. So. What? Whatever. It's good. Yeah? Yeah, it's just hair, right? What the fuck's that supposed to mean? Not drive so fast. You want to drive? No. Then don't, bitch. Okay, stop the van. It's my fucking car. And I don't like the way you drive it, which is why I volunteered to drive earlier. Drive like an old lady. Slow and steady wins the race. Not when you're on the fucking lamb, Brian. Open the What the fuck, dude?
truck over. Open the fucking door. Fix your face and dial it down. I will let you drive if you promise not to be an ass. Don't call me an ass. Actually, I'm starting to get really comfortable to use the word ass in front of all sorts of words that I use to describe you. Ass munch, ass clown, ass liquor. And I don't mean that in a good way. I am a pilgrim. This wearisome land I've got a home in that yonder city girl on and it's not not made by hand. Doug, I'm fucking starving, man. I'm really fucking hungry. I don't know, dude. I I think we need to be advertising ourselves. I've got energy bars in the back, so No! I need meat. I've never been this ravenous before. Yeah, it's natural, you're not doping yourself. Turkey trot with the slaw on the side and a diet Mountain Dew claw. And for you, water and a large soft crust pepperoni pizza unsliced. Sorry, this is really good. Enjoy. Dude, you have to do that. What? That old, like, managed woolly mammoth thing. It makes me feel like I still got it. We're gonna have to leave. Maybe we got a couple of faux pas here. We're gonna go now, all right? So when I leave, be right behind me, all right? Are you uh, in love with me? Excuse me? Did I stutter, Junior? I said, are you in love with me? Oh, hell no. Then why are you eye-fucking me? You wanna fuck with us? Well, pick your battles, gentlemen, because we are, in fact, fabled werewolves capable of ripping your goddamn arms off and shoving them down your fucking throats. We crush skulls, rip throats out, disembowel! So I'm gonna ask all of you fine citizens on this fine day, who wants a motherfucking piece of that pie? Yeah, I didn't think so. Wise move. We leave you with your arms intact. <laughs> Clean up on aisle nine, motherfuckers! Get out of here, you goddamn faux pas. You ain't scaring us! Oh, but you are a couple of stupid motherfuckers. <laughs> I'd be scared. I beg your pardon? I said I'd be scared. I was you, motherfucker. Ooh, oh! Ow, that fucking hurt! Oh. Whoa! Whoa, Bane! Why do you fuckers always think that's gonna work? Yeah, you're a fuck! Werewolf! 
bruise my scrotum, Jimmy. Oh. I got a silver bullet at home with your names on it, bitches. <laughs> Shouldn't we call Triple A? Last I heard, we were trying, at least making an attempt, to stay under the goddamn radar. Why are you being so pissy, Doug? Why are you gotta be such a negative Nelly? Oh, I'm negative, really. Because uh, I'm still having some difficulty navigating all these newfound asshole axe murderer thoughts that you're having about me. For Christ's sakes, Doug, mellow fucking out. I didn't mean anything by that. Oh, really? So, so if I was to ask you, you know, just out of the blue, could you name five things that you love about me? Easy peasy. Bullshit. Okay, smart ass. Why don't we put the shoe on the other paw? Why don't you tell me five things that you love about me? Easy peasy. Good, go. You're a good Scrabble player. It's really fucking rich, Doug. I was hoping for something a little bit more sweeping coming out of your mouth, like, I don't know, you rock the house on New Year's Eve in your fishnets. You rock the house on New Year's Eve in your fishnets. That doesn't count. Why the hell not? Because I just said it. Ow! Mother. Are you all right? Shit! That was your only tool, wasn't it? Okay. I'll make it easier for you. Name five things about me that piss you off. Besides how you're behaving right now. Yes, besides this unfortunate moment in time. You suck at Scrabble. No, I mean, you really suck. I mean, sometimes I even, out of the goodness of my heart, try to let you win, and even then, you fuck it up. So you get to win all the time. It's not any fun playing against a doormat. Shall I go on? <laughs> Hell, don't let me stop you. You're on a fucking roll now. When you swill your malt liquor after eating that dreadful seven-layer dip that you make, it does not make me happy to spend the rest of the night playing Dutch Courage meets Dutch Oven Games. You might think it's funny to put the covers over my head, but I don't. I swear, Doug, you have farts that rape my nose. Worth shit. Okay, three. That's a big one. You knew that when you met me. True. 
but you can dance lying down, so I didn't get the disconnect. No, you smoke too much. It's bad for your lungs. It's better than that bullshit they made you take. Mm, I am done with that. I haven't felt this strong since they captured me. Clarity. I love it. I call my sister Joyce. You know what? She and her family are actually living with my parents right now. I think her husband got canned. Doug, I want to see my family. Dude, I do not want to get into this. Family's important. I mean, people don't live forever, and if we get caught, I may never see them again. I'm worried about trouble. Trouble? We're wanted in two fucking states. Soon to be three. Look, my karma is feeling really good right now. And it's only one night. Oh, look. Wonderful. Almost. God, it almost makes you want to fuck Bill Maher. Mm, I'd fuck Bill Maher. Yeah, I'd fuck Bill Maher too, but he's straight. Doesn't matter, he's a werewolf. He doesn't have to turn foe, he just has to turn over. I do like to watch you pee, old man. <laughs> well, you're welcome to come over and hold it for me anytime you want to. And I like your fuzzy magic underpants. Me too. <clears throat> I just got these. I'm not sure about the color match, though. You know, they look kind of like the ones they wore on that Wolfback Mountain. Yeah, they kind of do, don't they? Tell you what, you snuggly old wolf. Why don't you bring your fuzzy underpants and come into the magic sleeping bag? goddamn burger I think I've ever eaten. No, don't choke. It's all sliced. What the fuck, over? I'm sorry, Dougie. I know you wanted Wendy's. I like square burgers. Doug, the house is like 12.4 miles from here. Are you sure you don't want to meet my parents? Fix your face. Escape from a reservation late last week continue to elude authorities. 
Ooh, yes, Jack, and they are considered armed and dangerous, and are believed to be headed for the great state of Maine, which is currently the only state in the Union with legalized werewolf sanctions. You did tell him I was coming, right? Doug? I have no fucking clue you exist. You'd be fucking kidding me. It's my dad. I mean, he's pretty cool and all. It's... I don't know, just some things he, he hasn't accepted yet. Well, he knows you're a fucking werewolf, right? Yeah, and they're pretty cool with the whole werewolf thing. It's... It's the gay part he's kind of wrestling with. Oh, fucking great. So now I gotta balance everything with this, uh, hey, meet my queer friend vibe. Oh, that is fucking beautiful. Yeah, well, fucking get over it, Doug. They're cool. They're cool with you, not me. I'm their age, dude. They're gonna, they're gonna be looking at me with that creep factor look in their eyes and thinking I robbed the cradle. Well, you did. I like to think that I bring a little bit something more to this relationship than hot bunking. Yeah, a little more something than a fucked up Scrabble game. seen you since you were like what the fuck happened to you Daniel, zip it. Hey, <laughs> I missed you we've been so worried oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> I can't breathe Hi, Brian <laughs> Not gonna bite me, are you? <laughs> Just playing. I like the hair. How's it hanging, Bob? It's Bill. I'm just playing. Oh, everybody. This is Doug. Holy fuck! Daniel! Hi, Daniel. I'm Doug. Daniel, you stand over here with me. Dude, take a chill pill. I don't bite. Much. You're not my dad. Come here, sweetie. Let me go. Welcome, Doug. Hello, Doug. Hello, Doug. Bill. Um, hey, uh, why don't we all go on and go inside now, okay? Yeah. I'll go get the bags. Come on, yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good to see you. Bill, help him. I like the get up. It's a nice shirt. What are you, an entertainer or something? Brian tells me I'm quite a performer. For dinner. All right. <laughs> hmm. Cozy. Hey. Dan the man. Woo. So, uh, when do you start changing? <laughs> we are surrounded! Surrounded by werewolves! Just calm down. How can you guys not see what's going He's on like around brother. here? We can be attacked in our sleep. They could eat Daniel. When has anyone ever been attacked by a werewolf? Brian is my son. Adopted. My no son. one's going to eat anyone. I don't think. Bill, 
Will you come with me, please? Okay, then. Time to go walk the dog? Yep. Brian used to babysit Daniel, all right? They just got here and you're already freaking out. I am here to protect you and to support the family. We're here by the good graces of my parents. Why are you keeping her waiting? Doug, 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 quit having a shit fit, man. Dude, we do not need to be setting up camp. It's gonna be cool. Yeah, but you're gonna have to take that outside. Chief Dan, where is everybody? Mom and Bill are arguing and Grandma and Grandpa are out walking the dog. I didn't know they had a dog. They don't. Bill says you might kill us. Well, I hope not. He says that I should never be alone with you. <laughs> Look, I don't want to get you in trouble. Bill's an asshole. Purple rain. <laughs> Grapefruit Kush. <laughs> oh man, I was way off. <laughs> Have you ever killed anything? Bill says you go out at night and kill animals. Wow. Bill is just a fountain of misinformation, isn't he? I want to put your minds at ease about us being, well, you know, number one, fugitives, but I especially want you to have no fear about the uh, full moon tonight. Don't be scared. Well, that's the wolf man in the room. <laughs> I mean, we've never seen a change. We're not scared, we're just worried. Well, no worries. This is cake. I got this. <laughs> You know, I used to do a little bit of this myself. I've seen the Karate Kid like five times. What is with this getup? With the Mickey Mouse pigtails and his midriff all out there? Was that your idea? Why are you gotta cut me like that? You're old enough to be his father. Ever heard of the creep factor? Oh, la! I didn't say shit. You know, I wouldn't go picking a fight with her. You might pull back a stump or something. You think I should dye my hair? No. Yeah, I hate getting old. Fucking wolf of paws. 
And shit when your fucking dew claws fall out. Oh, Dougie, do you need to watch some Leica porn on my telephone? Hey! Careful. <laughs> I just drank out of that. Just kidding. <laughs> we better get on the computer. How did I get to be such a bad guy here? Jesus Christ! I don't know what to tell you, Bill. Well, I already know you don't like me very much. Joyce said you think I'm a horse's ass. Oh, I wouldn't call you a horse's ass. You wouldn't? No, you're more like a show horse. How are we doing? Random checkpoints. And it looks like they're concentrating them on the main border on the New Hampshire side. You know, we can't stay here. They're going to arrest all of us. Mm -hmm. There's going to be some little back roads or something we can take. OK. So we've all seen the news. Every bounty hunter in the country is on alert. I say you lay low here, at least for the night. Especially since you'll be changing. Won't they come here looking for you? Eventually, Mother, yes. Which is why we have to keep on moving. We will spend the night here. Even that, though, is kind of freaking me out. I've never been on the lamb before. Oh, I didn't buy any lamb. What will you do in Maine? Well, they apparently always need counselors, and Doug has this pastry chef thing that he does. He's a pastry chef? And they always need lumberjacks. God, Brian, you're not gonna be goddamn lumberjacks. <laughs> Seriously, though, um, we have to talk about the full moon tonight. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about your friend. Is he medicated? He doesn't need to be. He's not active anymore. Well, you're taking you meds? In fact, tonight, I plan on flying solo. That's cool with everybody. Might be some acting out. Don't know, really. Are you okay with all this? As much as I can be. Idiot. If you'll all excuse me. I've got to clear my head. By the way, I'm not ready to rule out lumberjacking. Well, I thought you could keep it warm for me till I got there. See you later. God damn, man, you're bold. I mean, has anybody ever called you a cheese dick before? Let me tell you something, Billy Boy. I am, in fact, a fabled werewolf. I'm <laughs> capable of ripping off your fucking arms and shutting down your throat. I crush skulls. I tear out throats. I disembowel. And you gotta ask yourself, on this fine day, Bill, you want a motherfucking piece of that pie? I can't hear you. Do you want a piece of that pie or don't you? No, no. Quit treating my sister like a piece of shit. I don't want to have this conversation again. Now I leave you with your arms intact. Has anybody seen Bill?
He's not medicated. I hear you in there, Daniel. You do not need to be spoiling your appetite. Oh, it's you. Singles. They're my favorite. Brian, put the cheese down. So, you got a W problem, huh? I'm looking for some Wolfidin. Hmm. Well, you see, that's a pretty big favor, my friend. Because the government don't like us cutting in on their profit line. Bill says Uncle Brian's gonna go crazy tonight. Daniel, I don't think he's going to go exactly crazy. <laughs> this is the best day ever. What time does it get dark, anyway? So, you got yourself a weir, huh? Why don't you just call 911? That'd piss a lot of people off in my family, endanger my personal situation. Me and Jim was down south a couple times ago, ran across one of those fuckers. Old, toothless, retired motherfucker. He Fucking was. cocksucker. Yeah. There's a premium on this shit. It ain't exactly what you get at the drugstore, but it's the real deal. One drop of this, it'll make them fucking retarded. A couple more drops, it'll put them on a roller coaster ride from hell. <laughs> a little too much. You could put them in the emergency room, maybe uh, even kill them. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you say you live? Mm. Mm. Oh, it's all in the way you muddle the mint. <laughs> Doug, how does this go again? Where are we at? Uh, mm. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I yeah. see. Here we go. You got it. You got it. Look, he's changing already, and he lost his shoes in the neighbor's cow field. Cow field? Actually, I think it was the creek. He did not go down to the creek. Yes, we did. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. If you're going to shake, do it outside. I'll get him cleaned up. Daniel? It's cool. What the oh. hell is happening? Uh, this is normal. He'll settle down pretty soon. I got the cleanup on this. Despite an intensive search, two teenage werewolves have reportedly evaded capture and found sanctuary in the state of Maine. Yeah, they made it. They got all the way to Maine. Good for them. No way. <laughs> hey, Uncle Brian, get in here. It's already on YouTube. Brian, this is good news. Uh, oh, Jesus. Good Lord. Ah! Oh, God. Everybody chill. This is natural. Everything's cool.
Hey, did I miss anything? Ah! Oh, good God. What, what the hell? <sighs> Brian, you didn't get all the shampoo out. No? No, I had I think we're ready to eat. I'll pour everyone some water. You know what? I feel bigger. Mar <laughs> Woo! Mom, this is beautiful. Yes, like Thanksgiving. Yes, it is, Mom. Save some room for dessert. Doug made a strawberry rhubarb pie that looks delicious. You know, nobody likes you very much. Hate on, bitch. Everything's great, Mom. <laughs> but I thought you were going to make your cheesy squash casserole. Out of cheese. <laughs> so, Doug, Brian okay? Yeah, he's fine. <laughs> Brian, stop it. <laughs> he's high as a kite. Bill. I wouldn't look him directly in the eye right now, I'm just saying. Whoa! <laughs> Brian! <laughs> You're gonna wanna soak that. Yeah, no kidding, you. <laughs> it's just gnawing and some licking. He gets a little non discriminatory around meat. Damn! Does anyone still think weirs aren't a problem in our society? Shut up! You're an asshole. Wow, Bill. Now everyone thinks you're an asshole. Would anyone like to play Scrabble? <clears throat> you gotta watch your cheese. That's all I got to say. Okay. Well, they got a thing for it. I saw it on the internet. Provolone, cheddar, mozzarella, Swiss. Even Limburger. I mean, what's up with that? Goddamn mental illness is what it is. Werewolf! Ah. Jesus Christ! Nice one. I am creeping, you motherfuckers! Ha! See, look, I got 50 points, and I am done! <laughs> and I'm thirsty. He should not be oh, doing son. that. Oh, son! Brian! Hey, 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 hey. Here you go, big guy. This will make you feel better. Brian, you okay? Dale, stay back. It's okay. Outside! Outside! Outside. 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 
Goddamn weirs. Need I say more? Hey. We should ride around and look for him. No, let me handle this. Forget they eat their young. What the hell? Is that poison ivy? We gotta get out of here, dude. You gotta be able to sit up and stuff, okay? Oh, fuck. That, that son of a bitch. He should buy me a new one. Oh, it's only clothes, Bill. Two times. I wore this thing two times. <laughs> oh, Bill. What? I love you. Are you gonna lock us in your room tonight? <laughs> Why would we do that? Bill says Brian's gonna eat us during the night. Bill says a lot of things. <laughs> Joyce, are you all right? Oh. <laughs> I'm fine, Bill. How are you feeling? <laughs> Joyce! <laughs> uh, Joyce, are you okay? Uh, oh, I am doing much better than okay. Uh, yeah. uh, oh, Jesus Christ, Joyce! Quiet, slave! Slave? I'm gonna stick a finger up your ass. What? What the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody all right out here? Everybody's fine. Go back to sleep. Where the hell do you think you're going?
heart is racing. Your nose is warm and dry. That's not good. Mm. Mm. Hi, beautiful. Mm. Mm. Cut it out. Don't do that in front of your family. Everybody's freaking out enough as it is. Mm. Coldly buzzing. Yeah, I can see that. <sighs> Brian, did you get into anything last night? Did you drink any alcohol? Mm -mm. Just water. Um, so what the fuck happened last night? Well, put it like this. You owe someone an apology. Sorry, honey. Is your ass sore again? Well, yeah, but that's not what I'm talking about. To have a talk about swearing, you know, when it is and isn't appropriate. Bad news. Palms on your knees. Eyes up, tongue out. Hey, <sighs> guys. <sighs> hey, Uncle Doug, look at my arm. Whoa, cool. Hey, Brian, I'm gonna hang out with Daniel for a little bit. Your dad wants to talk to you. I just got a phone call. It looks like the National Police are closing in. So where's your dog now? Bill gave him away. Hmm. What was your dog's name? Scott. Scott? That's a, that's a fucking, uh, uh, excuse my French, it's, it's not a dog's name, that's a guy's name. Yeah, I was gonna name him Scout. Yeah, see, Scout. Yeah, that's a, that's a dog's name, Scout. Yeah, he had to wear a diaper whenever he was inside. Dog wore a diaper? Well, why do you have to do that? Was the dog sick or something? Nah, he just had accidents. Bill said it was my fault because I didn't house train him right. 
Daniel, you know what anxiety is? Nerves? Exactly. That's what I'm thinking your dog's problem was. I'll be walking around with about eight pounds of anxiety shoved up his ass and Bill's trying to hold it in with a diaper. It's not your fault. Get that shit out of your head right now. You dig? Son of a bitch. That son of a bitch is molesting Daniel. Hey! Hey! What the hell are you doing, you goddamn freak? Whoa, everybody chill. Daniel, what's going on? What the hell is that? You've never seen Wolfback Mountain? Uncle Doug was just showing me his bullet hole from where he got shot during the war. He's not your uncle, you little pervert. You're not my dad, asshole. Hey! None of that here! Daniel, you come with me. You really are the show horse, aren't you? Oh, to hell with this! I don't need any of you! We wanted to see it. Jesus fucking Christ, Doug. Why don't you just have him stick his finger in it? Well, he'd have to earn that. on Facebook. I'm gonna text them. Daniel, pack your things. We're leaving. No! Daniel? You're not going anywhere. You dumped us, you son of a bitch. I told you nothing good was gonna come of this. Now we're leaving, with or without you. Take the car and go. And don't come back. You don't tell me what to do. Yeah, I kinda do. I dare you. No! 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 He gets this from you! Bill! Why do you have to be such a dick? Lay off. And I'm not scared of you. How about now? You scared of me now? you fucking dick! I hope he doesn't run into any checkpoints because somebody done forgot their national ID card. <laughs> and funny thing, I don't think he's gonna find it anytime soon. Frankly, I don't want to involve the family in any of this. Ha! Huh, a little late for that. We just need a car that runs. No. There are too many people looking for you right now. And no telling who Bill's gonna tell. I'm with Joyce on this, Doug. I, I think you need a cover. And I also think that there's safety in numbers. Field trip! Ladies, gentlemen, the Ark! <laughs> Wondering when you're gonna show up. We's getting bored. Damn it! 
goddamn, goddamn, and double goddamn, we got ourselves a couple of weirs, not to mention a bunch of weir huggers. You ain't too tough on the eyes, are ya? Shut the fuck up, Wolfie! Oh, do I do Go ahead. Come on, wheel boy. And I owe you, motherfucker. This time you're not getting off so easy. You goddamn piece of weird shit. I said, let her go. gonna make it through this last little hurdle. Checkpoint. I'm with you. But we're staying off the main roads. They can't be everywhere at the same time. Sometimes they are. You gotta think positive. You gotta believe. Sometimes I think there is something to that creep factor. That does not apply to us. Yeah, do the math. I don't want to. Fix your face. I'm almost ready to let you take a red door and paint it black. Really? Just the door. Sir, we're conducting a search for some escaped weirs, and I need to see some identification in the form of your national ID card, then you can be on your way. Where the hell's my wallet gone to? What the hell happened to your face? Oh, I think I got poison ivy. Look like poison ivy to you? Sir, I'm gonna need you to step out of that car, because it looks to me like you're breaking out in a full moon kind of way. I got freaking poison ivy, you stupid moron. Sir, I'm just following regulations, and I need to have you step out of that car. This is bullshit. I will have your badge, you freaking hick. Oh, what the hell are you doing? The full moon is over. How can I be changing? Ah, driving around looking like you're changing. No ID card. We're taking you in. Okay. I know where some real weirs are. Sure you do. I, I didn't do anything. Shut the fuck up. We're doing this for your own good, goddammit. Bam. A ringer. I usually don't like kettle corn, but this is really good. Mm. It's all about getting the right mixture of salt and sugar. Mm. Mm. You sure? It's not going to last very long. We can always make more. Let me go check on Daniel. Again? Mm -mm. You know, last night, my husband asked me if I'd consider moving to Maine. That's a big step for him. He can be very Republican if he wants to be. Different isn't always his cup of tea. Oh, moving to Maine. What did you say to that? Not on your life. It's too cold. 
<laughs> well, you know you'd always be welcome. Let's settle for little steps. The old man's still wrestling with the get-ups. I could shave my beard, maybe. I like the beard. Easy, Santa. You do realize you're old enough to be his father. But at the end of the day, we just want to come home safe to someone we love. You noticed he hasn't changed his clothes once since we left? Damn it to hell. We're almost there. How's everybody doing today? These aren't the droids you're looking for. I'm gonna need to see everybody's national identification. So where are you folks heading? Maine. Hmm. Any particular reason? It's vacation land. Is there anybody else back there? No. I thought you said there wasn't anybody else back there. Sir, what are you doing in there? Didn't feel clean. Retired, right? Need assistance. There's nobody back there. This is total bullshit. Fuck you, man. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, you sellout piece of shit, phony patriot motherfucker. Sir, I'm gonna need you to stay in the shower. Fuck you, man. He didn't hurt anybody. Please! You're kind of big to be all sandwiched up in there like that. Doesn't look comfortable. I don't suppose you have any ID. You're one of those Wolverine types. What you got? Please? When good men do nothing? False alarm. You sure? Yeah. Yeah, we're all good. This is your lucky day. My brother's one. Folks, when you get to Maine, do me a favor, okay? What's that? Stay there. I take back everything I just said with fuck you in it. I could so lick your face right now. What the heck are you doing? There are escaped fugitives in that recreational vehicle. You stupid son of a bitch! Man! Somebody just bought themselves a cavity search. Oh, oh God! Damn it! Nobody likes you! Oh! <laughs> you get a pot of water and bring it to a boil. Simmer some chopped garlic.
it feels so strong right now. Even though the full moon's over, it's like I have this, this current going through me. Afterglow. I remember it well. Don't let anyone ever tell you that you're a faux pas. Because you're not, my friend. You are one badass werewolf. That means a lot to me. Coming from a badass werewolf. If I'm right, you just passed the state line. God. It's like a like a weight being lifted off you. Can you feel it? Yeah. A little. It feels uh, a little bit like when we met. <laughs> a little excited, a little nervous, all at the same time. Yeah, trying to remember. <laughs> Bullshit. You remember everything. Like what you were wearing? Or where I was standing. Heads, rise and shine out there in vacation land. Gonna be a cool one today. Temperatures will peak in the mid 40s. Perfect weather for lobstering and lumberjacking. Holy <laughs> shit. Hey, howdy ho, young pups. That kid Daniel texted us. Surprised to see you made it. But, hey, power to you. Feels good to rage against the machine, doesn't it? Yeah, actually, we're thinking about being lumberjacks ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that, old man. You don't look like you're quite ready for the hammer throwing contest just yet. Well, maybe if you work on those muscles a little, who knows? Call me, maybe. Later, suckers. <laughs> they ain't so tough. Calm down, old man. Good for them. Hey, guys, there are horses and cows. Oh, no. <laughs> Do you smell that? That smell, it's that smell. It's the manure. Fresh manure. God, I love the smell of manure in the morning. Don't you dare. It smells like, it smells Guys. like something that you and I should be rolling around in. 